Hey everyone, this is Lewis from WP Academic. I had an interesting request recently regarding advanced custom fields, and I wanted to show a solution for it because it apparently has some value for some people. Also, if you stay tuned to the end, I have a fun announcement uh, about how you can get free WordPress help from me. That's zero money for WordPress help, so you might want to stay tuned to the end. Uh, back to this tutorial. So I had someone ask me how they can get their advanced custom field label from its name. And to illustrate what I mean, I set up a quick test field group here. Uh, so there's just a field uh, to keep it simple. Uh, the field label is just test field and the field name being sample key. So uh, if you wanted to grab this uh, field label in your code, whether it's a template file or, or what have you, um, it's actually pretty easy. And I've seen somebody or some people, multiple people, uh, come up with sort of bloated solutions. Um, so some people might call get field object. And uh, while this works and you can get the field label, um, there's a lot of code behind here. Uh, and especially when you're considering site speed, it might not be the best approach. There's also the uh, downside to this where if somebody were to deactivate uh, the plugin or if there's a botched uh, sort of plugin update, um, then the front, of your s front end of your site would actually break. Uh, so I'm going to show you a bit more of a foolproof approach. So I'm just going to open up my code editor. And rather than have you uh, sitting around while I type out code, I'm just going to show you the code and then walk you through it so that you just understand what's going on behind the scenes a bit more. So my function name is going to be get ACF label by name. And so you can see at the top here, I'm just avoiding naming conflicts by calling function exists. Uh, that way, if for some reason somebody else has another function called get ACF label by name, you won't run into any sort of uh, PHP errors. Next, we're going to check to see if anything was passed in. So I'm checking to see uh, if it was empty. Um, and then if it is empty, we just alert the developer, hey, no uh, field name was specified here. Uh, then I'm going to set a default to not found. Uh, so this is a fallback in case anything were to go wrong with my try catch block here. It still gets returned at the end. So if everything were to go wrong here, uh, we'll still just get not found as opposed to some sort of error. So now in our try block, we have a simple uh, SQL statement here. Um, so in order to understand this more, I'm actually going to just show you the database. So let me go ahead and open up the database here. So uh, advanced custom fields, the plugin stores its fields as posts. So I have the post table open, and we can see here my ACF field label is test field. And we have the uh, post title. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the post excerpt contains my uh, field name. And if I scroll over to the right here, you'll notice that the post type is actually just ACF field. So back to my code here, what we're doing is we're selecting the post title, uh, in other words, the label, from the post uh, table where the post type is ACF field, and then the field name uh, being the field name that gets passed into our function here. Uh, then right below here, we're going to set the field label to the variable that's returned uh, from SQL. Uh, if it happens to be empty for whatever reason, uh, then we're just going to return not found here. Uh, now in our catch block, we're just going to log the error. Uh, that way, if somebody were to something were to go wrong, you can check your console logs and see uh, some more specifically what might be going wrong. Uh, just to show you it's working, I added a short code here that calls our function, um, and it uses my field name here, sample key. And what I did is I also just created a, uh, I added that short code uh, into one of my test posts, and we can see that post here, and it echoes out test field, which is exactly uh, what we wanted here. So uh, feel free to copy and paste the code or download the plugin I made. Uh, also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, just let me know. Now for the fun part. Um, 
I'll be announcing uh, what I'm calling uh, WordPress Free Help Saturdays. Uh, I'm just finalizing the details on how I'll be going about it, but I'm open to suggestions. So I wanted to announce it beforehand. Basically, uh, any one of my subscribers can submit a request for help for anything WordPress related here. Uh, so anything that's related to WordPress, specifically not you know web development, but mostly WordPress. Um, and uh, for the most part, the, I'm still going over the, uh, the rules, but uh, free help doesn't mean I'm building a full e-commerce website for you. But if you have any suggestions on planning a project, hosting, uh, learning WordPress, uh, how to use WordPress in general, advanced WordPress, beginner WordPress, etc. Um, I'll be doing a free one hour, uh, free one-on-one -on -one help session with you uh, live on YouTube every Saturday for an hour. Um, obviously I can't accommodate any, uh, everyone, so a request would be submitted to my email and I'll choose one or two a week, uh, almost at random, I'll be choosing one. And then we'll set up a pre-YouTube call uh, to make sure we're good to go on screen sharing, or if you have any, or if I have any uh, more questions regarding details about your request, then we'll finalize the details on that call and we will post your help session live on YouTube so that if anyone has a similar question, uh, we can maybe help them as well. Uh, more of that to come uh, in the next few days, but if you have any help uh, request ideas, send me an email to lewis at wpacademic.com and we can maybe uh, get the ball rolling. I'm very interested in hearing back from you on what types of help requests there might be. And I bet some of you would be happy to have free professional help. Uh, and that concludes our tutorial for now uh, and my light promotion on WordPress free help Saturdays. So feel free to like or comment uh, with any questions. And of course, send me an email if you want any professional help there. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.